Welcome back everyone. Today is my fall 2023 decor haul. Tilly, you're in the frame. You're in the frame. Can you guys spot Tilly? <laughs> Say hi. I've started collecting fall items for a couple of months now and I can't say that I won't get more things but I wanted to go ahead and do this haul now and then if I get a lot more things then I can always do another haul later and add it in to my decor later down the line. After I start decorating I might realize that I need a couple more things or I might want some things from the new hearth and hand line. I got into the fall and Halloween mood so early this year. I feel like I'm getting like more and more antsy for the fall season earlier every year. And apparently the stores are too because they started putting out fall and Halloween super early this year. I will do a Halloween haul kind of soon so I can show you what I've gotten so far and I'll probably get more Halloween later down the line as well. But let's go ahead and start looking at the decor. I'm going to do it kind of by category instead of by store this time. First up are blankets and pillows. So one item I got is this blanket. I already opened it up and kind of started playing around with stuff. Um, this is from Studio McGee. I'll make sure to leave it linked down below. This is actually from last year's collection, but it's still available to purchase, which I can't say about the rest of the line but i wanted this color last year and i still had the dark brown couch so i couldn't really put this on there it didn't look right but now that we have the lighter couch it looks so beautiful and i'm so happy i can add the warmth of this color i fell in love with this color last year so i got this off the website it was 30 dollars, i believe and it's got kind of like some other colors mixed in there you good, Tilly? <laughs> it's kind of got some other colors mixed in there. So it can kind of go with some browns and oranges that you might have in your decor as well. And Tilly's barking at the neighbor again. Next up is this Casa Luna quilt. I got it in the natural color. It's a heavyweight linen blend quilt. Now... It is cotton, so I think it is actually like literally heavy, but it's not super warm. And we live in Florida, so going into fall and winter, we don't need super warm stuff. And we get really hot at night. We have like three fans going. So I decided to get something lighter, and I've always wanted Casa Luna. So I'm finally trying it out. I finally made the purchase. I had some coupons and stuff, and there was a sale, so I added it all up so I could get this for super cheap. It's really soft. I got it in the natural color instead of white. Now the white is like an off white, it's not stark white. So if you want like super bright white, it's still pretty bright white, but it's not completely white. Um, I decided to go with the natural because I've been wanting to go with kind of like a linen, not completely white color. So I wanted to try this. I've had a white comforter before but I didn't want white again so we're gonna try this out Ethan wanted this color too so that was perfect I already have the um chunky knit blanket in this color so I will be using that as well for the fall season these are super soft and I'm really excited to try it out I did get a king size I like to get a size up from our actual bed size um I really like the oversized look and I don't like having a bed skirt we don't have a bed frame that we can like not have a bed skirt so I like to cover it up and not have to use a bed skirt how many times can I say bed skirt that's it for blankets, now moving into pillows. First up is this basket weave mahogany colored pillow. And it is the same color as the blanket I showed you. This is also from last year's line. I actually got lucky and found this in store. Somebody had returned it, so it was on clearance. And I snagged it up. Um, it was originally $22. I got it for $15.40. It actually wasn't ringing up on sale. So I had to tell the guy like, no, there's a clearance sticker on it. So 
he gave me the clearance price. I just tried to scan it in my app to see if it would come up um, and it does not come up. So this is not available anymore. You can find them on Mercari and Poshmark. It's just going to be a little bit more expensive either because they've jacked the prices up or you have to pay for shipping. Um, I have found stuff on there for about the same price as you find it in store, but you do have to pay for shipping. So that makes it a little bit more expensive. The next pillow I got is this hearth and hand pillow. I can't remember if I've ever shown this on my channel before. I bought this on clearance like two years ago and I have yet to use it, but this year I'm going to use it with the Studio Mickey mahogany color because it has a similar color on there and it matches really well. And um, it comes with a small insert. So what I did was I took the pillows that came with the couch because we're not gonna be using those. They have really nice down or down alternative. I'm not sure which one it is. They have really nice inserts. So I'm taking the inserts out of the pillows that came with the couch and putting them in to the pillow covers that I have already. So this has a really nice big fluffy squishy insert in it now and I think I got this 90% off when it was on clearance and it was $30 when it first came out um this is not sold anymore so this is another one I'm not even sure if they have it on Mercari or Poshmark but this is something that you have to find on there but I love this pillow. I'm glad I didn't get rid of it because I contemplate getting rid of pillows when I don't use them and I hadn't used this one yet. I'm really glad I didn't do that because now it's going to get used. Actually, all of the pillows that I bought this year are from previous year's collections. So I'm really sorry, but I still want to show you what I got because I don't really like Studio McGee's fall line this year. I really liked her pillows and stuff from last year and I was hoping that she would come out with stuff that kind of matched the stuff from last year but this line is completely different for 2023 so I went searching and scouring the internet for her old stuff. Another Studio McGee pillow that I got from last year is this plaid. It's like a kind of yellowish brownish tannish color and I got this off of Mercari, I believe. And I think I got it for about the price that it sold in stores, which was $22. And then I had to pay it for shipping. So not too bad of a deal, but I really wanted this pillow and it was brand new. I lucked out and being able to find this. I actually had bought it on Poshmark before and the seller wasn't shipping it and wasn't responding to me. Um... So I had to cancel it because it had been a week and they didn't respond to me and didn't ship it. So I canceled it, had to buy it from somebody else. Luckily, I was able to find it again. The last pillow that I got is from Studio McGee line last year as well. And it's another basket weave mahogany colored pillow. I bought this off of Poshmark. This seller was great. She sent me a little thank you card. If you follow me on Instagram, you see when Ethan unboxed this. It's super squishy and it does kind of have like fuzzes coming off, but I have one of those shavers. So I'm going to use it and get those fuzzies down. It's still brand new, but this material just gets super fuzzy. I actually got this for cheaper than the sale price in stores. This is normally a $30 pillow and I think I offered $18 and she accepted it and then I paid for shipping. So I think I actually got this for about store price. So that was a good deal. The inside of this pillow is actually super squishy and soft. I really like it. The cover is not removable though. So I will have to make sure that it stays clean because you can only spot clean these. Next up, I'm going to show you a book that I got. It's just one book. I did actually get another book, but I'm going to save that for my Halloween haul because it kind of goes more with my Halloween stuff. I'm not sure if I'll put it out for fall, but I will show that in my Halloween haul. This one I got from Home Goods. And I could not leave this because it goes with my channel. It's called Abode. How perfect is that? It is $25. It's a beautiful coffee table book. You can take the cover off and it looks like this. It's so pretty. It's got a really nice textured cover. So I was really excited and I couldn't leave it because Jessica's humble abode. A 
elbowed. I think I'm gonna take the cover off even though it's really neutral and pretty. I like it more without the cover and I think it's gonna look really nice with my Joanna Gaines homebody book and my Liz Marie Galvin Cozy White Cottage Seasons book. Uh, if I stack those together or it's good by itself, I don't know, I'll have to play around with it. Next up are some pumpkins. I'm gonna try not to buy that many pumpkins this year because I already have a ton. I might actually try to get rid of some of my pumpkins because I'm trying to stay away from the dollar spot. I think I've already mentioned, I'm trying to buy things that will last me throughout the years and that are quality pieces. So I might get rid of some of my stuff that I bought cheaper or I might take it to work and like decorate a little bit at work. But anyways, trying to cut back on buying pumpkins, but I couldn't resist these. This pumpkin is from Hobby Lobby and it's a realistic pumpkin. It's a really pretty orange color. They're $25, but the fall stuff is 40% off. So I think it was like $15 instead of 25. And it's just got little speckles on there to make it look more realistic. The stem is bent and turning. Kind of reminds me of like Harry Potter, but I really like this. It's an imperfect pumpkin and it just was too good to pass up. When I saw these online, I knew I had to go in store and find them. I decided that pumpkin needed a friend. So I got another one also from Hobby Lobby. It's a little bit different shape, even more imperfect than the other one. The stem is a little bit different. It's not curly. This one is the same price, $25, but then the 40% off sale. There is a third one that's green. I didn't get that one because it doesn't go with my decor as much I thought about it um if I think I need it I might go back for it but I think I'll be fine with just these and they're just so cute together I don't know if I'm gonna put them next to each other or on maybe opposite bookshelves we'll see how they turn out but maybe oh maybe one stacked on top of coffee table books to give a height difference I don't know I just really like the imperfection of them and I think they're really pretty the next two items are vases or vessels. Um, I don't know if they're both considered vases, but they're both from Hobby Lobby. This one I fell in love with. I saw this in store when it wasn't on sale. It's got like flowers on it and it's amber glass. It is $11.99 when it's not on sale, but I got it when it was 50% off. So I only spent six bucks on it. It's so pretty and just imagine some florals in there like the cosmos from hobby lobby would look so good in this and i just really really love this face it's even good on its own you don't even have to put anything in it but i think i'm going to put cosmos in it the next one i got is also from hobby lobby which i already told you i got this on clearance um it's not from the spring shop they were just making room for their new decor that they were getting it's originally a 50 dollar vase and I got it for $12.49. Talk about a deal. I thought it would be good for fall. You could use this for summer too. I thought about putting it out for summer, um, but I decided not to, but you can use this for summer and fall and probably spring year round. This was a good buy. My friend says it looks like Winnie the Pooh's honey pot and I don't disagree, but it's really cute. The last category of things that I got for fall are frames and this is because I plan on redoing the gallery wall that's in our living room behind me. I do have a spring picture up that I use throughout summer but it is not going to match fall so I'm just going to redo that gallery wall and I'll show you the inspiration picture that I want to use right here. I really want to do something really similar to this and let me show you what I got. So this frame is from Hobby Lobby. This is going to be the focal point. It is 16 by 20. I'm not gonna use the mat, but look how pretty the detailing is on the edge. Um, but like I said, this is gonna be the main focal point that everything else is gonna go around. And I chose to go with gold so it would pop, but I am gonna do different kinds of frames, different styles. This next frame I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're closing. I'm not sure if all the stores are closing. The one by me was closing down and they were having a sale. So I think I got 50% off of the price. Um, but this one was originally $15. It's an 
11 by 14 matted to 8 by 10. And again, I'm not going to use the mat, I don't think. But it's a really pretty warm wood. So I wanted to add some warmth up on the wall. So I made sure to get a warm wood frame. This next frame is also from Home Goods, like the first one. It's the same brand. It's called Lily and Faye. It was $12.99. It's also an 11 by 14 matted to 8 by 10. And it's got a similar detailing on the edge, but it's slightly different. So I thought it would be nice to have something similar, but still different. The last one that I got from Home Goods is a black frame. It was also $12.99, and it's also 11 by 14. And I just wanted to add some black up there to go with the little touches of black that I use. Again, I'm using all different kinds of frames, all different colors, but it's still hopefully going to be cohesive, I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to have to bring these back and get different frames. This next frame I got from Michaels, and it says it was on clearance for $10, but I actually got it for five, maybe five and change. And it's square. I wanted to make sure I had some square pieces, not just rectangular, just to add a little bit of visual interest and a little different shapes in there. And it's this pretty like pearlescent white and gold. So I thought this was really pretty and obviously I'm going to keep the mat in there because it's got a smaller frame inside. I thought this was really cute and it's only five bucks. I forgot I got another frame from Home Goods. I can never pass up their gold floral frames. Look how pretty this is. It was $10 and it's got those pretty gold flowers. It is by Concepts. That's the brand. They have really pretty frames. I don't know if this is going to go on the wall or not, but I will use it somewhere because this is too gorgeous to not use. Last but not least, it's not technically, I mean, it's a frame, but it's already got a picture in it. And it's got a horse in it. This is from the new Studio McGee collection. This is the only item that I have from the new Studio McGee collection. I love this horse picture. They actually have a similar one, a couple of similar ones. They have like different, um, slightly different pictures inside at Hobby Lobby. And they are bigger than this. If I can find it, I'll leave it linked down below as well as this one. And I contemplated getting that one, but I'm going to stick with this. It's got some like really dark, almost black wood and then the gold. So I thought it would go really nicely with the frames that I already got. So my plan for these frames is to do a mix of like family photos with fall landscape pictures or floral pictures. I think I want to get something that says uh, all at once fall collapsed into summer the Oscar Wilde quote. So I'm just going to do a mixture of those kinds of things. I'll show you some examples right here. I get prints off of Etsy and put them into the frames. It is very cost effective and you can use them over and over. If it gets messed up, you can always print it again. That's what I did for my large picture that I put above the dining table last year. I'll probably use that again this year. Although I wish I could get something bigger. I'm probably not going to because it's going to be expensive to get a bigger frame. If you have any recommendations for pictures I can use in the gallery wall, make sure you leave them down below. Because the new Hearth and Hand Fall Collection is dropping today when this video is going live, I wanted to show you some of the things that I'm thinking about purchasing for fall. Whenever Joanna's new line for fall comes out, I know fall is really coming. Her fall collection is the epitome of warm and cozy and homey and just fall. I love her collection. I really like it a lot more than the Studio McGee one that came out this year. No offense to Shay McGee. She has awesome stuff. It's just not my style. So I really like the stuff that Joanna came out with this year. First up is the Textural Stripe Flower Sack Kitchen Towel in Pumpkin Brown. I just love the color of this towel and I love having the flower sack towels around my kitchen. Next up is the 12 by 16 Great Oak Tree. Um, I thought about maybe putting this into my gallery wall or maybe I could put it in the kitchen or I don't know, somewhere. I just really like how simple it is, but it still feels like fall to me. And I really fell in love with it when I saw it. There's also a smaller version. It's a six by eight. It's called a Great Oak Tree Sketch. And it just goes really nicely with the bigger version. So those two pictures are very nice. Actually, in the picture online, they're leaning up against the wall. So maybe I could put it on 
one of my shelves that I have. That's a good idea, actually. I might have to do that. Um, the smaller one is $10 and the larger one is $22.99. The next item I really, really like, it's the multifaceted ceramic bud vase in the color cream. And it's just really adorable. It is only $10, but it's pretty small. It's only five inches tall, but I really like it. It's really pretty. I don't know if I really need another vase, but you know, it's kind of like buying pumpkins and bunnies for Easter. Like... Can you really ever have enough? But I love the texture and the color, the cream color, and then it has a little bit of like brownish tan on there. And I think it'd be really pretty with my other decor. And I think it'd be beautiful on the warm brown bookshelves that I have in the living room. Another piece that I love and I really wanna get, but I'm considering not getting it because I have floral picks that look very similar to the one in this arrangement and I have a vase pretty similar is the 15 inch faux rusted eucalyptus arrangement it's $30 which is why I'm kind of like maybe I should just make it myself with what I have but it's gorgeous I like it better than the one last year because the one last year kind of was supposed to go over the side um and it was supposed to lean to one side and I like the idea of it but when I saw it in person it didn't look right to me and I don't know I couldn't really get it to look right so I didn't get it but this one isn't like that it just kind of sprays out all over and I think it's beautiful it'd be pretty on the dining table or a coffee table or an island but I really like that piece next up is another picture I don't know if I'll actually get this because I don't know where I would put it but it's beautiful nevertheless it's 9 by 24 it's called the tranquil riverscape panoramic framed wall art it's 25 dollars but it's so pretty and it's just neutral so if you do neutral fall or even if you do traditional fall it can still match that it's so pretty and serene it's got the water it's got mountains it's got trees and it's a unique size you don't normally see stuff with a longer width um you do see more like vertical skinny pictures, but not skinny wide pictures. So I think it's really unique and it's really beautiful. A couple of other things I really like are the candles that she has. Just the beautiful brown color of these. Um, I'd probably pick the maybe the autumn cider, but I just want to show you how pretty the color is. And they go from $6.99 to $14.99 depending on the size that you get. I also really like her kitchen towels in the pumpkin brown. It's $9.99 for two of them, which is a pretty good price. And then I like the 55 ounce fluted stoneware serving bowl in pumpkin brown. It's a beautiful color. And you can even put it on a coffee table to hold your remotes. You could put it on an island. I really like this piece. And the little stoneware mini bowls in three colors, $17.99. So they're $6 per bowl really beautiful pumpkin brown green and that cream color that matches the vase that i talked about earlier i also really like the 18 inch faux cornflower stem which is four dollars you could put this in an arrangement of the rusted color beech leaves that she has and it would be so beautiful she's got so many good items in this collection i will make sure i leave it linked down below so you can look at it but i just wanted to show you some of my favorites there's a few more. I also really like the mortar and pestle that she came out with. Um, it's $20 and it's marble and wood. I really want a mortar and pestle anyway, so maybe I'll get that down the line. Her spoon rest is really unique because it's fluted, so um, they don't really show it in the pictures very well, but the bottom is fluted and has a unique shape to it. And then her dishcloths are really pretty colors that match the bowls and the other items in her collection like i said i will leave it linked down below so you can look through the collection i just wanted to talk about some of my favorites what i'm thinking about purchasing that's all i have for you guys today let me know in the comments down below have you already started shopping for fall decor for this fall season are you planning on buying any of the new hearth and hand items or the studio mcgee items let me know what your favorite thing is that you're looking forward to buying and what you liked from this haul don't forget to subscribe and support my channel if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up i will see you in the next one bye guys